Bruh. Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art of War 3, and today we're going to be playing on the Industrial Zone map. Uh, this is a 3v3, as you guys can see, I am red, and we have green and yellow as our allies. So we're going to start off scouting, of course, using our epic riflemen. Green is spamming a ton of riflemen, I have no idea what green is doing, but green is doing it, and I guess that is all that there is to it. We got a pretty good early scout from uh, from yellow at blue. Blue's already rushing for HQ level 3, I believe? Uh, I don't know. Regardless, I am ma making the wasp. I'm also going to make some uh, kaimans to get this bigger container because in the water this time, uh, there's also another bigger container on the water here, but I assume yellow's gonna get it. Yeah, yellow's already making these kaimans. I'm scouting purple. Purple's decent. And I'll also scout green. Green doesn't look like they have a shipyard out yet. And yeah, it looks like the construction yard is here. So, construction yard radius would probably reach like that. Like that. Yeah, so I don't think they have room for a for a shipyard. Because if you can if you guys can see Right, my construction yard has radius all the way up to here, uh, so it can encompass the water part, but I don't think green can. It looks like this construction yard can only reach up to here, so it goes like this, and then vice versa, so it goes like this. So yeah, I, I don't think it, it can reach. I mean, the, the construction yard might not have maximum radius, and it might not be placed accordingly. Wait. Blue lost the construction yard to green's rifleman. That's funny. That's quite funny. But I assume the construction yard was right here. Yeah. Yeah, that is blue's rebuilding the construction yard. Come on. Come on. Is that the construction yard? Yep, that's the construction yard, yep. So blue lost the construction yard to green right here. That was funny. <laughs> that was way too funny. Anyways, I'm going to be using my wasp and two kaimans to destroy this one supply center. It will push greens, uh, the enemy greens supply back by a little bit. I'm not expecting a lot, but I am expecting something. In the meantime, I'll go for HQ level 4, green is going for HQ level 3, and yellow is going for HQ level... 4? No, that's level 3, okay. I'm going for a Leviathan, and I'm just gonna mass produce some units. There's a noob fortress here, so we're gonna acid it and destroy it. Perfect. And it looks like green didn't get a container here yet, so I guess green will capture that later. Yeah. Okay. Fast forward. Yeah, you know, you just kind of love that little radar thing when it spins like that on 10 times speed. It's too funny. Well, Vertex tried to hit my prototype factory to destroy it before I launched my Leviathan up. Of course they failed, like, come on, I have six porcupines, what do you expect, man? <laughs> six porcupines versus four vertex, obviously the porcupines will win. So there we have it. I am building one more anti-air tower just in case, but I don't think I'm gonna need it, to be honest. We'll move our porcupines down there, and we'll get the Leviathan. Green is attacking. We should be able to uh, defend. Green also has torrents, but I have the Leviathan. Let's launch the nuclear missile. Purple is also arriving with some of their units. Purple vertex, but uh, it's only two vertex, and I have a lot of porcupines. So... Yep, those resources are mine for the taking. 
and I'm just gonna keep mass producing these vehicles. Uh, you yeah, know, I mean, I have a lot of resources and I can mass produce, so I will. Now we'll fast forward. Because I wiped out pretty much two players' army, I'm just going to be uh, attacking green because I see that there's no defenses on green's base, so I'm just gonna attack. And I mean, you can have a couple of vertex, but I have porcupines and the leviathan. So I don't think it's gonna be that good for green. And of course I have a couple of mammoths as well. Well, Green's HQ is destroyed, and I destroyed pretty much like a third of Green's base, if not a half already. So, Green is going to be crippled, if not absolutely annihilated. But we'll see about that. Oh, looks like I have no more porcupines left here. Okay, so the vertex can easily amass and destroy my leviathan. But it looks like green destroyed their own buildings. Is purple doing the same is the question. I don't think so. Well, my Leviathan is destroyed. So, I'm sending in a couple reinforcements, but I only have like three more porcupines as my reinforcements. Two mammoths and a jaguar, but... I mean, we already have some good ground presence. I'm gonna fast forward a little bit. I'm now gonna focus fire onto this HQ and just let the porcupines deal damage against the vertex. I mean, now I have no porcupines left, so these units are pretty much free meat. But yellow is arriving with the Leviathan. Purple is pretty much gone. I mean, green had a lot of dragonflies. I have no idea why green didn't deploy them into the battle. But I mean, it's fair. I don't know. Because, <laughs> uh... I have no idea what's going on through other people's minds. Uh, ye Yellow could also attack with these ground troops instead of just sending one Leviathan to its demise. But it's something. We got three more porcupines. And we're gonna send these porcupines to the airfield and destroy the vertex. See, vertex is just like this anti. I mean, no, the porcupines are just an anti vertex uh, combo. Like, they can use the machine gun to destroy the vertex on the airfield, and the missiles destroy airborne vertex. And it's just so funny to watch. This vertex is definitely going down. We lost a jaguar, but they lost a vertex, so it's a win for us. And looks like green is finally doing a push on blue. Green and yellow are doing a 
uh, combo attack. I have no idea what blue was even trying to do. I see barely any defenses, no ships. Well, there was like one Viking, but yeah. A couple Zeus tanks. But yeah, blue is very slow. To be honest, for a person who was, uh, who was semi-attacked, it, it's fair, I guess. But, uh, yeah, I, I, I think blue is a little too slow. Anyways, we can enjoy watching this one porcupine beat up this, uh, confederation HQ. <laughs> it's the little things in life, man. Well, instead of watching that one guy, we can watch all of this. I'm also sending in my forces to help, so technically it's a three-player attack. Yeah, dang, I'm surprised that Vertex actually stood the test against all those porcupines, man. That's a lot of porcupines. And the nuke. Boom. And this is good game. GG's.